What specific plans do you have to identify and secure sustainable funding to open and operate the Senior Community Center? One of the main things we need to do is plan for opening facilities as we build them. On the school district, we have a three-year budget cycle. That means that by the time a facility is up and running, it is up and running, and we have the money to pay for opening it. I think that we need to look within the budget right now, the city's budget, to see what areas we can adjust to make sure that we have money to open the senior center, because it is a priority. I think it's very tragic that the Senior Center stands idle when I pass by it on East 14th. As a Human Services Commissioner, I'm acutely aware of the needs that seniors have in this community. And it's not like seniors have time on their side. It's not like they can wait two or three years for us to figure this out. It's time for us to take action now. What we need to do is look for innovative solutions. And what I would propose, and what I would really work diligently towards as a city council member is to get it open. And what I would offer up is that we bring in nonprofits to work collaboratively to open up the senior center. That model is already in existence in Pleasanton and in Fremont. We do not have to reinvent the wheel. We have to just borrow their ideas. We can do this and we can do this quickly and I'm fully committed to doing that. Thank you.